Are you ready to discover the dark secrets surrounding one of the most beloved ingredients in the world? Join us as we uncover the truth about why sugar is bad for you. We all love the sweet taste of sugar, but many of us don't know the hidden dangers behind this seemingly innocent substance. Too much sugar in our diets can lead to a host of physical and mental health problems. In this episode, we'll explore the sweet deception of sugar, its effects on our bodies, and how we can make healthier choices. We'll look at why sugar is dangerous to our health and discuss ways to reduce our intake of it. First, let's get to know, what is sugar? Sugar is a type of carbohydrate that occurs naturally in some foods, such as fruits and vegetables. It can also be added to food to improve its taste and texture. The two main types of sugar are simple and complex. Simple sugars, such as table sugar, sucrose, and high fructose corn syrup, are made up of one or two molecules and are quickly absorbed into the bloodstream. Complex sugars, like starch, are composed of multiple molecules and take longer to break down. Consuming too much sugar has been linked to an increased risk of developing various health problems, including diabetes, heart disease, obesity, tooth decay, and other chronic conditions. In addition, eating large amounts of refined sugars can cause changes in your mood and energy levels. For these reasons, it's important to limit your consumption of added sugars, particularly if you have existing health issues. The many forms of sugar. Sugar is a simple carbohydrate that comes in many forms. It's present in almost all foods, including those that don't necessarily taste sweet. Sugar comes in many shapes and sizes, making it easy to consume too much without realizing it. Table sugar, or sucrose, is the most common form of sugar and is often used as an added ingredient to sweeten food and drinks. This type of sugar is made up of two simple sugars, glucose and fructose. When consumed, it gets broken down in the digestive system and absorbed into the bloodstream. High fructose corn syrup, HFCS, is another form of sugar commonly found in processed food and drinks. It's a cheaper alternative to table sugar and is made from cornstarch that is processed to contain glucose and fructose. HFCS is sweeter than table sugar and can have negative health effects when consumed in large amounts. Other forms of sugar include agave nectar, honey, maple syrup, brown rice syrup, malt syrup, barley malt syrup, molasses, and fruit juice concentrate. While these types of sugars are usually naturally occurring, they are still high in glucose index and can cause health problems if consumed in excess. In addition to these sugars, artificial sweeteners such as aspartame and sucralose are often used in low-calorie food and drinks. While they may not contain any calories or carbohydrates, they are often hundreds of times sweeter than regular table sugar and can still have an effect on your health. How sugar affects your body Sugar consumption has been linked to a number of serious health issues, including diabetes, heart disease, and obesity. The human body is not designed to metabolize large amounts of added sugars, and this can lead to metabolic issues that can affect your overall health. When you consume sugar, it raises your blood sugar levels quickly. This causes the pancreas to produce insulin, which helps the body process the sugar. If you consume too much sugar, your body cannot process it all and it starts to store it as fat. This fat buildup can lead to weight gain and increases the risk of developing type 2 diabetes and cardiovascular diseases. Consuming large amounts of sugar also affects your dental health. When you eat sugary foods, bacteria in your mouth feed off the sugar and produce an acid that can weaken and damage your teeth. This can lead to cavities and other dental problems. Finally, eating too much sugar can lead to chronic inflammation in your body, which can lead to numerous illnesses, including arthritis, asthma, depression, and certain cancers. It's important to be aware of how much sugar you're consuming and to make sure that you're eating a balanced diet. Eating a healthy diet full of fresh fruits and vegetables, whole grains, lean proteins, and healthy fats will help keep your body running smoothly. Reducing added sugars in your diet is one of the best ways to ensure optimal health. Why sugar is addictive Sugar is one of the most addictive substances we consume. 
The sweet taste of sugar triggers the reward center in our brains and causes the release of dopamine. This reward system is similar to other drugs, such as alcohol and nicotine, which also cause a surge in dopamine. Our bodies crave this reward and it's hard to resist its temptations. The American Heart Association suggests that added sugars should account for less than 10% of total daily calories. That means for the average adult on a 2000 calorie diet, this would be about 12 teaspoons or 48 grams of sugar per day. While this may not sound like much, it's easy to exceed this recommended amount without realizing it. Many foods and drinks contain added sugars without us even knowing it. A single can of soda contains 40 grams of sugar, which is more than three times the recommended amount for an entire day. Sugar can also be very difficult to quit once you become addicted. Just like other addictive substances, when you stop consuming it, you may experience withdrawal symptoms such as headaches and cravings. It's no wonder why so many people struggle with their sugar intake and find it hard to break the addiction. Fortunately, there are steps you can take to reduce your sugar consumption and break the addiction. Limiting your consumption of processed foods and sugary drinks is a great place to start. Additionally, opting for natural sugars such as those found in fruits and whole grains can help you satisfy your cravings without overdoing them on the added sugars. Taking these small steps will make a big difference in your overall health. How to break the sugar addiction Breaking a sugar addiction can be difficult, but with a few tips and tricks, you can start to cut down on your sugar intake and improve your overall health. 1. Get to the root of the problem. Most people who are addicted to sugar often don't realize they have a problem until they've reached the point of being addicted. Take some time to think about why you crave sugar and what emotions it triggers for you. This can help you better understand your addiction and how to control it. 2. Start by reducing. Reducing your sugar intake gradually is key when trying to break a sugar addiction. Start by making small changes, such as cutting down on sugary beverages or replacing desserts with fruit. Once these changes become routine, then try cutting down further. 3. Replace sugar with healthier options. While it's important to reduce your sugar intake, it's equally important to replace sugar with something else. Stevia, coconut sugar, and monk fruit are some alternatives to sugar. Try replacing sugary snacks with healthy alternatives such as fresh fruits, nuts, or yogurt. 4. Find healthier ways to satisfy cravings. If you find yourself craving something sweet, try curbing that urge with something healthier like herbal tea, unsweetened cocoa, or dark chocolate. If it's crunchy snacks you're after, Try snacking on roasted chickpeas or kale chips instead. 5. Drink more water. Dehydration can sometimes trigger a craving for something sweet. Make sure you stay hydrated throughout the day by drinking plenty of water. 6. Avoid processed foods. Processed foods are loaded with added sugars and other unhealthy ingredients. Eating these regularly can lead to overconsumption of sugar and other unhealthy ingredients. When possible, opt for fresh fruits with lower sugar content like blueberries, strawberries, raspberries, blackberries, and vegetables instead. 7. Stay active. Exercise has been found to reduce cravings for sweets and other unhealthy foods. Try to get in 30 minutes of physical activity each day for the best results. Breaking a sugar addiction takes time and effort, but it is possible if you take it one step at a time. Don't be discouraged if you have slip-ups along the way, everyone does, just keep focusing on the goal and you will eventually get there. We hope this episode has provided you with a better understanding of why sugar is bad for you and the dark secret of sugar. Remember, reducing your sugar intake is essential to maintaining a healthy lifestyle. Take the time to understand the effects of sugar on your body and make the right choices for you.
Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and turn on notifications to stay updated with our latest topics.